Hello and welcome back guys. Today we are here with a brand new mock-up. As you all know, we are trying to bring very simple and unique designs for the late few weeks. Now, before we begin, let me remind you all that you can download the PSD files of these mock-ups that all the mock-ups we are doing on our channel. If you want to join our Patreon family, you can contact me and you can uh, talk about uh, the working stuff or you can give contacts or you can ask me for personal help that I can give it to you in, in a one by one conversation. So without further ado, let's begin. The very first step as you guys know that is uh, we will select the paint tool and then we will press Control plus to zoom, out, zoom in the page. And then we will select all the points, necessary points. But make sure that you select the poster area. You know, because we will be working on this part. See how I am making the posters and I am finishing it right where I started. Now you can zoom in and zoom out and adjust. And then... And you can see if you have missed out any points or not. And if you have or if you have uh, selected some extra points, you can just take add anchor point tool and adjust it. And make sure that just make sure that you do not uh, exclude or include any extra space. Okay. Because the precise the selection is the precise the matter will be the realistic it will become. So do it. And then we will select the uh, sideboard that you can see uh, for that also similarly we will be taking um, paint tool first and then the anchor point tool the anchor point tools here basically are being used in the corners because of the curve make sure you adjust it and do the fine selection Holiday. And now take a rectangle uh, because this will be our smart object as you know and make sure the size of this uh, is the similar to the bigger poster that is there and then by right clicking on it we will convert it to smart, smart object and then we will decrease the opacity of it and then we will be pressing Control T. And then we will right click on the rectangle and we will select Desert. And then we can just shift the points and make the adjustments. Make sure it is put rightly into the places in the corners of the poster. Just so any excess play, uh, space do not get excluded or get included. After, pre after you are done, press the right and then press Ctrl and then the bigger shape that you've drawn uh, select the part of that shape and then select the smart lock the smart object layer and then press the masking option and as you can see the smart object is masked and now the previous shape that we don't need that we will delete it all right now similarly we will be doing the next uh, poster, the side poster that is available there. We'll change the color and then we will pressing right click, convert to smart object. And then by pressing control T, just decrease the opacity, uh, transfer it. Yes. Uh, place it and then right clicking on it, desert and then Place it into places. I mean the corners. You know. When you are concentrated in one object. It's just. Gets uh, very difficult. But okay. Uh, for you it's always fine. Okay. Now. Um, ignore that if possible. And we will just change the editable parts. Alright. We will highlight them rather. To make sure that you understand 
now we will by double clicking on it we will take the uh, biggest smart object and as you know we have already selected the design you can also select the design or make it yourself and then we will place it by control t all right place it uh, properly on the smart object by adjusting the size and all and then going to file save it or else the main uh, page won't be updated with this picture and as you can see the picture here is updated now similarly we will update the second picture too by pressing ctrl t now we will create a swing with that and in this the contents now do not forget to save the pictures always uh, make sure you do it and then pr press ctrl shift and select the uh, number 1 mask and number 2 mask by pressing control shift select both the mask okay and as you can see there is a selection part and then you can click on the background layer and then press control j and as you can see the whole part has been extracted all right and then again we will uh, place it at the top and then again we will press control j for two more times so we will have three copies of this extracted part and then we will rename these layers as uh, shadow midtone and uh, light yeah thanks but like with it you can follow the screen when i'm going to send it to on here from like it now we will switch off the light and midtone layer and the shadow will be converted to multiply and the midtone after switching it on uh convert it to linear dots add and then press control l and adjust the levels so the picture is back to its realistic form or else you know it looks very nasty so adjust it till you are satisfied then switch on the light layer and convert it to screen all right and then again by pressing control l you can just adjust the levels Uh, yes, a little darker, but not so dark because it's a, a bus shade and a poster, so it's supposed to be bright. As you can see, all these uh, layers have been uh, the effects have been uh, executed. Now you can keep the layer uh, shadow layer in multiply or uh, you can keep it in linear burn also. whatever suits you better and whatever you like according to your requirements uh but here i prefer the multiply effect you can uh, change it according to your preferences uh and yeah once you are satisfied you can stop and just rename the layers according to you and yeah you can just zoom in and see if uh, everything is proper and all as you can see i have selected and uh, i have executed it absolutely fine hopefully you will also like it and you can download this uh, psd file of this mockup also from the description box make sure to check it out and thank you for watching